why don't we raise a glass to the winners that we're announcing this morning? I think that's a great idea. Congratulations. Cheers. Hi, we've come up here today to collect our awards because we're very excited. We've got a gold outstanding for one of our wines and two bronze medals as well. We are very glad to have won uh, five awards in uh, International Wine Spirit Competition 2012 with our uh, range of wines of Hacienda Zorita. Here we are at Distill and we are very thrilled to have been awarded an IWSC bronze medal. We're having great fun, we're loving it, cheers. We got today a very good news. We got two silver awards from IWSC for our white altitude from Ixir and the other was for the red altitude, same range. We actually presented two and the two, two wines won. Uh, we're very proud because this is very important. When we, uh, when we meet a new distributor, a potential distributor, one of the first questions is, do you have any medal, any competition? And one of the first recognition they ask for is IWSC. So we're very happy, and this is why we tell you how we say it in Lebanon. Kiss cool. The last couple of days have been fantastic. Uh, we've been busier today than we were yesterday. And I think the trio of awards that we won with the IWSC um, has just made this day a complete success. We have won the silver medal on our Conegliano Aldo Garden at Brut Mazutina. And uh, salute. Grazie. All the blenders, we taste whiskey and we blend whiskey at its natural strength, at its natural colour. I want the consumer to taste the way that we taste whiskey. I've been a member of IWSC judging panel and spirits for the last six years now and uh, I thoroughly enjoy it and I think that the people, the calibre of the judges that I work with must be the highest calibre of any competition because there are more master blenders and uh, um, whisky makers on the judging panel than anyone else I know. When we ship these overseas to the States, to South Africa, it's very important and they, they all have their IWSC medal accreditation onto the box. The majority of Sauvignon Blanc grown in South Africa um, is made in stainless steel tanks and there's very, very little oak treatment at all. And I think that probably suits the style by and large of, of uh, South African Sauvignon Blanc. IWSC have been kind enough to ask me to speak today on the subject of Lebanese wines. In 20 years there has been a real renaissance in winemaking, lots of new young winemakers and really quite an exciting wine scene. I think the audience enjoyed it, they seem to really react well to the wines. Some surprises in there like white wines which I think people didn't realise Lebanon could make, Pinot Noir which again is a grape not associated with it, and the Big Reds which is more kind of familiar territory. I, I don't know what you think when you taste this wine but to me it, it, it's like being hit by a wave in the sea, you know, it's cool, it's refreshing, it's got this blast of fruit but it is really dry. I think it was actually pretty good to take this topic of young and wild from Germany just to show people uh, that there is something new. I mean, it's already new since 10 years, but uh, it takes time to get this message across, uh, even from Germany to the UK, although it's not so far away. Yeah, I know. I, I had some really good response from people who came and spoke to me, and uh, about three different people said, I just didn't realise that, that there were wines like this from Germany. and. You know, I would order this, I would buy this, I would list this. And you can tell that the guys who are making these are proud of them. I think, Christine, we have done a very I've... good job. Yes. <laughs> Thank you Results. for doing it, yeah. <laughs>